Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live throughout the day from the Singapore FinTech Festival. And joining me for this segment, we have Peter Warner. She's the Head of Strategic Partners in Asia at Refinitiv. And we're going to take a look at the ESG impact on data vendors as well as the sustainable leadership monitor out of Refinitiv. Uta, thanks so much for joining us at the um, FinTech Festival. And clearly, ESG has been a very big topic at the event. And tell us more about the growing importance of ESG globally and then particularly in Asia? Yes, so um, well first thanks for having me. Um, I think starting uh, being at the FinTech Festival here in Singapore, what I'm amazed by is to see on the agenda of this first day of the FinTech Festival how many of the topics are actually touching on sustainable finance, sustainable investing, even climate change and you know the reduction of biodiversity. It shows you how important these topics have become even in our industry and I find it really encouraging. Um, but uh, looking at the trend in general, I think you really have to look at it from the investor's perspective and also from those of those uh, trying to raise funds, so governments, companies. Uh, but what cannot be underestimated is the increasing societal pressure as well from younger generations like millennials for which sustainability is really a core concern. Uh, but back to investors, we've really seen a trend away from investing for pure profitability purposes to trying to have more of a positive impact on the society at large. And that's why you see big trends like uh, uh, social, socially responsible investing, uh, impact investing. Um, and then from the angle of those that are trying to raise funds in the emerging markets and particularly in Asia as well, the environmental impact on a growing and often vulnerable population, I we have seen has really led to an explosion of financing needs for green projects and uh, in particular through green bonds. Right. Now last year was really the record year for issuance of green bonds. It stood at 168 billion US dollars, a fourfold increase from 2015 with a quarter of them actually issued in Asia Pacific and uh, 31 billion in China alone. Actually China is the second biggest issuer of green bonds at this point in time. Um, closer to home in Singapore, where I'm based as well, uh, the Economic Development Board has actually uh, issued incentives for co companies to really commit to sustainability KPIs. So it's it's really an interesting trend to watch, and I, I would say particularly here in Asia. Yeah, and it sounds like it's a trend that's here to stay. Absolutely. All right, so from a data vendor's perspective, um, I think when you think of ESG, you think of sustainability and investing and, and the community at large, but as a data vendor, that impact is really going to impact you as well. Yes, so it it's, is impacting us and, and has already been impacting us for a while, but um, obviously with this trend becoming bigger, uh, we really, as an information provider, um, are adding news, research, uh, price information, all sorts of information to give our clients a better picture of what's happening and from every angle um, and then also to help them make better investment decisions in that space. Uh, we're also looking at for instance how asset manage which asset managers are looking or investing for instance in green bonds to come back to my earlier example. Uh, we have our Lipper fund data that will need to be classified according to this, those criteria. We also have our World Check Risk screening that is now taking environmental controversies into consideration. Uh, but for Refinitiv, um, which used to be called Thomson Reuters, for those that don't remember, uh, because it's quite a recent thing, um, we, we've actually been in the ESG space for over 15 years. Um, we are quite known in our industry for our diversity and inclusion index, and, and one of the more recent, uh, really interesting products um, that we've released is the Sustainable Leadership Monitor which uses ESG and financial data to assess companies on factors, for instance, uh, like environmental uh, innovation, uh, resource use, and uh, reduction of emissions. And Refinitiv as a company has actually pledged to go to 100% renewable energy use from 2020 onwards for our data centers. So we try to not only provide our clients with the information, but to also be a sustainable and responsible company ourselves. Yeah, that's amazing. So for you personally, how is this trend impacting um, your role in overseeing Asia yes. contact partnerships? Yes. So heading up the Asian content partners team at Refinitiv, obviously this focus is going to impact more and more the types of strategic partnerships we have to put in place. 
and, and one of the types of partners we look after are the exchanges or the Asian exchange relationships and it's definitely driving the conversations there as well. I, I just recently had a number, of, uh, uh, a number of conversations around ESG reporting with some exchanges. Now many of them in Asia are still waiting for the regulator to make it a mandatory requirement but you do have cases like the Singapore exchange or the stock exchange of Thailand that already gets their listed companies to report on ESG so that's that's only going to be a trend that continues um, and um, yeah I've, I've also been discussing the sustainable stock exchange initiative with some of them it's actually the 10th anniversary this year it was set up under uh, the United Nations and actually Nasdaq was one of the first exchanges that was uh, commit, commit Voluntary, voluntarily to, to make some, uh, some changes in their market from a sustainability perspective. Um, yeah, so it's, an, it's an exciting conversations. And more personally, I actually just recently joined a um, sustainable action group that we've just set up internally at Refinitiv. We have them across the world in the bigger <laughs> cities. Uh, because I'm, I'm very passionate about sustainability, as, as you can tell, and I working on it professionally is one thing, but I believe making a difference personally is, is important to me too. Yeah, it's amazing when you work for a company that shares the same values Absolutely. that you do. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us at the Tech Festival. And thank you for joining us throughout the day on NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter in NASDAQ.